How much is my trade-in worth and should I trade my car in? At a time when the economy is tight and money in your pocket is even tighter, this is a very important question for any car buyer to consider. In this show, we will share top five steps on how to get as much money as possible for your trade-in, including several places where you can find reliable values and offers for your car on your own, with or without our help. Hello everyone, Kevin Hunter, the homework guy here. And right over here is none other than the lady of the hour, Amazing Elizabeth. Okay, thanks. Today we're diving into one of the most critical aspects of buying a new car, and that's trading in your old one. If you didn't see our previous video, How Not to Negotiate a Car Deal, go back and see it first. We'll teach you to think of your car deal as three separate transactions, and that's why today we're dedicating a whole new video just to your trade-in. If you think getting a fair trade-in value is tough, you're right, but... (laughs) With the right knowledge, you can definitely master this. Stick around as we break down the steps to ensure that you get the best deal possible for your trade-in. Let's get started, Liz. Number one, understand the value of your car. It might have sentimental value to you, but it's not worth its weight in gold. The trade-in value also isn't just a number pulled out of thin air. It's calculated based on several factors, including the car's condition, mileage, market demand, and current retail resale values. Start by checking trusted sources online. Several platforms give you a ballpark figure of what your car is worth based on your specific model, make, year, and condition. We also have a few sneaky tricks, but very honest ways of determining your car's actual value. If you use Kelly Blue Book to get the KBB cash offer, just keep in mind that multiple dealers will contact you, so be prepared to compare what they offer you. You know what's hilarious, friends? Years ago, we recommended sending KBB the VIN of a vehicle parked on a dealer's lot to get a cash offer on it. That way you knew what its trade-in value was. Right. It was great, but enough of you did this collectively that we forced KBB to update their software to know if a dealer had that car on their lot for sale. Now today, (laughs) if you request a cash offer on a vehicle currently for sale on a dealer's lot, KBB will say, sorry, that vehicle is for sale by a dealer. (laughs) I think it's awesome that by exploiting a weakness that KBB had, We forced a big company like that to change their software. Moving along, admins can be of help too. You can use their tool called, How Much Is My Car Worth? That's right. I found that to be useful. You can also go to the CarMax website as well as Carvana and ask them for an offer to buy your car. These two seem to come in higher than local dealers in many cases. Remember, you do not have to trade your car into the dealer where you'll be buying your next car, which is part of the reason we say think of it as a separate transaction. By the way, when you get a trade offer from CarMax, you can pretty much count on them honoring that trade offer. Other dealers know this too, which is one of the reasons you should always print off a CarMax offer and bring it to an alternative dealer you want to match the CarMax offer. You can simply go to cars.com as well and search for a car for sale that has the same trim level and similar mileage on it to what your current vehicle is and see what the current retail value is. Of course, you have to lower that number by four to $5,000 to get the actual trade number on your vehicle. The retail info is valuable, however, because while you'll never get the retail for your trade, that information still tells you where the market is at. That's right on the money. You can also just go to a different dealership and say, how much will you pay me for my trade-in? Sure. Require that they put their quote in writing and tell them, if it's a good number, we're likely to be in touch. Sometimes you'll get more for your used vehicle at a dealer carrying the same brand of new cars like your vehicle is, like bringing a used Ford to a Ford dealership. So if it makes sense, go to a dealer with the same manufacturer of their new car lineup. Of course, we recommend that you try a few different methods, so expect to get lots of different trade answers. Trade value is what someone is willing to pay you for your car, and everyone has a different business model, so don't be surprised by this. Just like the vehicles being sold at retail vary a lot in price, trade offers vary too. If this totally confused you, you can always come to us and join as a consults member and get black book values. Just sign up by going to our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Now for some tips on improving your trade offers. Number one, always prepare your car. The better your car looks and runs, the better your trade-in offer will be. Consider a deep clean and detailing job before you take it to the dealer. For 300 bucks, you can get the same day interior detailing at a local shop. You support a local business and get far more of the value for your trade-in simply because your car looks well cared for. Mm -hmm. I actually just recently did this for my own truck at Luxury Spa in Williston and they made it look as good as brand new. If you have it detailed, just make sure you do this several days before you intend to bring it in for an appraisal or the interior could be damp 
and evaporating moisture might still be condensating on the glass. Right. You don't want them to think your vehicle is flood damage or something. <laughs> Also, take care of minor repairs that could negatively affect the car's value. Tires are one of the most common things that are dinged on trade-ins. Remember, the goal is to make your car look well cared for and maintained. While minimum tread depths are allowed down to 2 seconds of an inch, we recommend having your tires at least at 1 8 inch tread depth. At least. At least. Timing your trade-in is also important. Timing can play a huge role. Generally, it's better to trade in your car when it's in demand. For example, trading in a convertible or sports car during spring or early summer might fetch you a much better price than trying to trade it in in the middle of winter. Sure. Also, trading in a four-wheel drive truck or an SUV as the season is getting colder headed into fall and winter also matters. Keep an eye on market trends and consider the timing of your trade-in to maximize its value. You can do this by setting up a search on cars.com and selecting get email alerts and have it automatically email you car values once a day. Another tip is to gather your documents ahead of time. Make sure you have all the necessary documents ready. This includes your car's title, registration, any loan payoff information like a 10-day payoff, and all appropriate maintenance records. These documents can help prove your car's history, your level of maintenance, and overall condition. Remember to think about the tax advantage to trading in. In many states, you only pay sales tax on the difference between the price of the new car and the trade-in offer the dealer has made. The idea is that you already paid taxes on the trade once, right. so that amount of taxes comes off your next purchase. This can result in a substantial savings compared to selling your car privately, but it really depends. Here are two examples to compare. You're trying to buy a $45,000 new car. Your old car is worth $20,000 as a trade-in. If the tax is 10% in your area, here's the math. $45,000 minus $20,000 is $25,000 of taxable money with 10% tax being $2,500. You pay a total of $27,500 for the new car. On the other hand, if you kept your old car, your new car is $45,000 plus 10% taxes, which comes to $4,500 for a total of $49,500. Do you see that? You pay $2,000 more in taxes by not selling your current vehicle to the dealer that you're buying from. So in this example, you'd have to earn $2,000 more from the private party buyer in order to make the private party sale more advantageous to you. This would also be true if you decided to sell your car to CarMax because they have the biggest offer. Make sure the benefit pays off for you. Next up is negotiating. As we mentioned in step one, don't just go to the dealership where you plan to buy from. Have multiple quotes in hand before you try to make a deal. This not only gives you a sense of what your car is worth across different markets, but also provides leverage when negotiating. When you receive an offer, don't be afraid to negotiate. Use the highest quote to your advantage and see if other dealers will meet it or beat it. How this works is pretty simple. You take the offer to buy your car at X dollars with you to the dealer that you intend to buy from first. Give them a chance to beat it. If they don't, you simply buy your new car and then go sell your old one. If you do sell your car before you buy the new one, don't let on to the dealer that you've already sold your trade. They'll know that you're a sitting duck without transportation, at least to some degree. Right, and remember, dealers typically leave some room for negotiation, so always push them for a better deal. Also, be aware of common dealer tactics. Some might try to undervalue your trade in claiming that repairs or market conditions justify a lower offer. Don't listen to the nonsense. Stick to your research and don't be swayed by these strong arm tactics. If you feel the trade in offer is too low and negotiations are going nowhere, know when to walk away. Like the old song says, you can always finish this another day or even finish it from home the same way our team member Stuart does it. By the way, getting a great value for your trade happens to be an area of Stuart's expertise. He will always get a better trade offer than you do from a dealer. Always. <laughs> Finally, we've come to closing the deal. This assumes that you've done a good job of negotiating the price of the car you're buying, and that step is under your belt. When you've negotiated a trade and offer on your current car that you're happy with, it's time to close the deal. Read and reread everything. Ensure all terms, including the final trade and value and any conditions, are in writing. And never forget to ask about any extra fees or charges that might pop up. Oh, there's always a lot of those. Oh, yeah. You see, friends, trading in your car doesn't have to be a daunting task or a mystery or a headache. With the right preparation, knowledge, and negotiation skills, you can walk into any dealership with confidence and walk out with a great deal. 
Following these tips to ensure you get the best value for your trading is important. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more advice, and don't forget to always do your homework before heading to the dealership. I also want to say for all the people I consult with on car buying, the people who spend a few bucks to pick up a copy of our new book, Buy Smart and Drive Confidently, are the ones who are always better prepared and more informed. If you're not feeling very confident at getting a good trade value at this point, it's okay. You can get Liz's help via email or text from our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Just sign up for one of the memberships. And if you missed it before, you can also enlist Stuart's help. Getting direct help from us is a game changer. Contact Liz today and ask how you can put our amazing hassle-free car buying service to work for you. Stuart does absolutely everything for you. Let us help you navigate the alligator-infested waters of car buying. Just like in the Minions, our man Stuart produces great deals, amazingly good trade values, and seems to just hypnotize the bad guys <laughs> in a car dealership. They do what he wants, and the outcome is amazing for you. We now offer a button as well on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, where you can sign up for either email or text message alerts of future new shows and new blog posts. Make sure you do that. Now, if you've made it this far, I have a special offer for the first five people to respond by text to me at 701-441-3399 saying, I just watched your trade-in video. I will give away a free 15-minute phone call with the legend Kevin Hunter himself to the first five viewers who respond by text with this message. Do it quickly because they always go fast. Thanks to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. To all of our longtime subscribers, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Thanks for listening.